just sat outside Fortitude Cafe right now. Um, I was, well, I was inside, but I moved outside because I wanted to sh show you guys stuff better. For some reason, the light inside is really bad. But for all intensive purposes, I'm just going to explain exactly what I'm trying to do. Welcome to Pokey Eats. And for those of you who have heard me talk about this forever, you know that Pokey Eats is about finding cafes or quiet little spots where there are Pokey stops you can lure up, especially if maybe you live in a rural area. This episode is for you guys. So, if you look on my screen right now, you will see that I have already lured both of these stops right here. There is a Clefairy, I'm going to catch it because I need Clefairy candies because I want to get a better uh, Clefable with better movesets. I'm going to go ahead and catch that really quickly. Um, the great thing about doing stuff like Pokey Eats is that you get to sort of enjoy being in the city, but with the more sort of relaxed kind of pace, you don't have to chase Pokemon as well unless something really rare spawns. Um, but otherwise, it's, you know, it's, it's pretty good to chill. This Pokemon is, might have to use a great bit of this, because for some reason, that Namab Berry did not work. Um, so, but for you guys who are interested, if you have any questions about finding better places like Poke Eats, where, sorry, finding pl pl better places like 42 Cafe, then 42 Cafe is a good place to, to come. There are lots of places in Edinburgh like this, but this is one of the bigger places. Alright, so we've caught this Clefairy, which is awesome. Um, hopefully you guys can hear me. I know it's really, really noisy in the background, but I'll try to um, make sure that you can hear me. So, but we've caught that Clefairy. There is a, um, is that a Swinub? Sorry, not Swinub. I've kind of been excited to shoot this episode because um, it's the kind of like video I really want to get into for the channel. The signal here is not as good as I would hope, I hoped it would be, so there's going to be a lot of error, disconnects, all of that kind of thing. Um, also, new jacket. I thought it was time, I just I really thought it was time to try and get a new jacket. So. So there's a nid around here, 26 CP, not a big deal. Hopefully we can just catch it with a Pokeball 107. Um, I don't know why, but for some reason I never go over 100 Pokeballs now. I, I don't know if that's because I've just gotten into spinning Pokestops like crazy. Also, did anybody get new stops? I didn't get any new Pokestops where I live. Um, so that's the thing. I looked all around my town and I saw no, new, no brand new Pokestop, which means it's a rural area, and I doubt there's hardly any people playing Ingress in that area, but I would have to download Ingress to check. I'm not going to do that right now, because that would take time, and I'm outside. Cellular data changes every time you walk past a large building. Alright, so we've got that in uh, There is also a Nortu. I'm not interested in the Krabby. You couldn't catch this right now. So... But, the, but doing something like this, I think, would be good when there are events on, like legendary events. Speaking of legendary events, you guys will know that there was an article, article written that was, that was posted yesterday on Twitter. I don't know if you guys saw it. Um, it was a Spanish... I don't know why Nyanta keeps doing these interviews with Spanish newspapers and Spanish, uh, sorry, not Spanish, I think it, was it Spanish? Maybe, correct me if I'm wrong, but foreign papers and the translation, I mean, we, somebody has to translate the whole thing, otherwise we Google Translate, which everybody knows is not 100% accurate unless you are literally from that country translating what's been written into English, but if I understood it correctly, did it say that legendary events are coming next year? Okay, so we've caught Snubble. I'm gonna go ahead and spin the Pokestop again. Spin the po I, It clicked on Krabby. Not what I wanted. Uh, Pokestop, please. It's clicked on Krabby again. For those of you who are interested in last week's video, you commented and asked what kind of business I'm, am I setting up. I am setting up a graphics and web design business. 
and it's called Prayer Pixel. The image is right there if you're interested. Prayer Pixel is all about um, real time module based web design, which is 100% faster. The code that's produced from it is cleaner and visually it allows me to go crazy. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up here in terms of Pokemon. But I hope you guys enjoyed this short but not short segment. More videos are coming because I'm going to try and spend today shooting other videos. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions or maybe you know a place. Oh, if any of you are from Edinburgh and you know a quiet place. I'm not talking like a place that's crowded in the afternoon. But somewhere that's quiet mostly throughout the whole of the day. And I can go in there and shoot like a Pokey Eats episode. Drop it in the comments and let me know. Um, I'm sorry for all of you who've missed this video, many of you unsubscribed, and I, I was honestly a little bit sad, but it happens, you know, I'm sure we're going to get more growth, um, some new things on the channel that will be happening is reviews, going to be doing product reviews, most of them tech based, or web design driven based, so that's going to be a new element coming to the channel as well, so you guys look out, can look out for that. Um, but for now, that's going to be it. I hope this encouraged you. I hope you're having a good day. In fact, I pray that you're having a good day. And remember, guys, that no matter how anxious you are about anything, there is a plan and a purpose for your life. You know, Jeremiah 29, 11 says, God has a plan and a purpose for your life. And I believe that wholeheartedly. And even if you don't believe, I'll believe it for you. And I'm praying for you. So thanks for watching. God bless.